In this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot the startup repair, automatic repair, whatever problem you are getting related to the booting issues is. As you can see, my window is not loading and saying diagnosing your PC. So let's wait. So this is the error I am getting, startup could not repair your PC, okay. If you are getting the other error like automatic repair could not repair your PC, your PC did not start correctly, you just need to click on this option, advanced options. These all errors are related to, related to boot and this will work on Windows 10 and 11 as well. So you can try out, okay. So first of all, we will analyze why we are facing this issue. So there are mainly six reasons behind this error. The first one is Windows corrupted files and second one is sudden hardware changes. Third one is missing boot files and config files which are responsible for booting your windows. And the fourth is bad sector inside your hard drive or the SSD. And fifth is sudden power failure. And the sixth is hardware issues is okay. So we will troubleshoot the issue one by one. And if you are not able to access your PC like this, okay, not able to access the options, all the options, you need to shut down your system two to three times forcefully. I will link a video in description box so that you can follow the steps, okay. So after that, you need to click on this option troubleshoot. Then click on advanced option. Now you will see here six options. You need to click on this option command prompt okay first we will repair our windows corrupted files the command is sfc space slash scan now sfc stands for system file checker which will scan all the corrupted file inside your windows drive as well as the windows if any corruption inside your windows drive where the windows is installed so wait for the process to complete it will go to 100% and might take 10 to 15 minutes okay so let's wait i am fast forwarding this video for saving your time okay the command is completed successfully you need to write down here exit okay and try to continue with windows 10 if you had normal issue with your windows file so your issue will be fixed with the continue with windows 10 or 11 okay so if not you can go to troubleshoot again and again go to advanced options and again try system restore this is the second method select this option system restore point okay if you have created or sometime windows automatically create this this will be the good option for you so click on system restore and if you have created it or the window is automatically created you will get the options like this you need to click on next option again and select the latest one date here and you need to click on next option so no loss to your data your system will be restored to the back stage and your issue will be fixed if you don't have the system restore point on your windows you need to cancel this process and we will troubleshoot again with the other method click on advanced options click on command prompt okay and this time we will repair the bad sector inside our hard drive or the ssd okay the command is chk dsk space c the drive letter where the windows is installed and the colon and again give a space and this slash and f f will repair all the bad sector and the corrupted file inside your hard drive so hit enter after that and this will go in a five stages so wait for the process to complete and this is very powerful command this will repair all the bad sectors as well as the hard drive issues so I am fast forwarding again this video you need to have patience sometime if it is stuck so you need to wait Okay, so the command is completed now you need to exit out from the command like this type for exit and click on continue with windows 10 okay continue with windows 10 and your issue will be fixed 
if still not fixed we can move to the another commands so click all troubleshoot here click on advanced options and these commands will repair the bootring files again click on command prompt okay and so these command will repair the boot files as well as the recreate those okay so the first command is boot boot rec space slash fix mbr and hit enter now the second command is boot rec space slash fix boot and if you get this message access is denied you need to hit this command boot sect space slash nt60 space sys okay this the command you can see on the display and you will get these command in my description box so don't worry about the command hit enter okay now you will see the successfully now hit the above command again fix again try the same command above command boot rack space slash fix boot and you can see the operation completed successfully okay so after that you need to rebuild the booting file so the command is boot boot rec space slash rebuilt bcd and hit enter okay now wait and you will see the op operation completed successfully type again exit okay and click on continue with windows 10 so let's check our issue is fixed or not so i will try with windows continue with windows 10 seems like windows is loading let's wait okay you can see the window has been loaded now and issue has been fixed with three methods okay if you are still not able to access your windows and also getting the same error so you need to hold the shift key and, and click on restart option this is also the second method to access the automatic repair option okay hold the shift key and click on restart and you will get all the options like this now we will click on troubleshoot we will click on advanced options and again go to command prompt so you can also try uh, startup repair but this rarely works but you can try this okay and if you have installed latest windows and after that you are getting this error you can uninstall the latest update okay so we are going to again go to command prompt now type your admin password here if you have don't have password just click on continue if you are writing down the correct password you can change the layout okay you can change the layout accordingly and try so let me type the password here and okay in this method we will restore the config files and we will take the backup from the c drive okay where the windows is installed so first you need to make sure that where is windows installed in your case you need to hit c and then colon hit enter dir to open the directory and you can see the windows user windows and the, all the programs files are here it means that you are in a right drive so once you select the right drive let's say if you have the windows in d drive so type d colon dir you can see there are no files program file and user for so we are going to go to the c drive c colon dir okay you can see the file here so we are in a c drive mostly the windows is installed in the c drive so we need to hit some commands here the command you can see on the screen as well as get in the description box the first command is cd 
slash windows slash system32 slash config hit enter we are in a config so the another command is md space backup hit enter okay after that the type the command copy space asterisk press shift and 8 dot asterisk space backup now you can see the 10 pi the 10 files have been copied let me zoom this so that you can see the command properly after that type cd press back so no harm to your data your data is safe uh, if you are getting this message the system cannot find the specific path okay so exit out we cannot proceed with the videos but if you have uh, got the files inside the config files so you can proceed with the another command the command is EIR hit enter okay and after that you need to type the command copy space asterisk dot asterisk space dot dot hit enter okay now you will see nine copy has been filed copied here you need to type her a okay and after that exit type the exit and continue with windows 10 and your issue will be fixed the booting files as well as the config file will be recreated and your window will be booting normally so hope one of the steps is working for you if your issue is resolved then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching